Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. While shopping at the Prestonsburg Walmart, Courtney Kreider spotted Paintsville native Chris Stapleton buying supplies for flood survivors. Kreider had been trying to reach Stapleton for years as her disabled daughter, Etta, had been listening to his music since she was three. So, Etta, about three years ago, we noticed that she um, loved Chris Stapleton. Um, she was um, diagnosed with autism and she has a few other um, specific needs such as epilepsy um, and she is hard to calm down sometimes she doesn't really love for us to hold her to comfort her, comfort and so my husband took her for a ride in the car and um, she was crying and he put Chris Stapleton's CD on and she calmed down and so we started using that and it changes her whole spirit I mean there's certain songs that make her super happy um, there's certain songs that calm her down, like if we're doing an EEG, um, I will put that on and, and she'll let me hold her to put her to sleep because she has to be sleeping during her EEGs. Um, sometimes if she's just in a really sad mood, we put YouTube on and we play some of his songs and it just turns her complete mood around. When Kreider told Etta who he was, Etta immediately began laughing and smiling. Some of Etta's favorite songs by Stapleton are Fire Away, Parachute, Traveler, and Starting Over. Um, so she doesn't really know him by his face. He kn she knows him by his uh, voice. But I had always wondered if she ever met him, what she would do because she loves beards. <laughs> so it's a very sensory seeking um, thing for her. And of course, the, one of the first things she did was she, she kissed him. And I did not get that because I didn't know how he would feel about that. But then also she reached out for his beard and he was super, super sweet. And he said, yes, baby, that's my beard. Stapleton's Outlaw State of Kind Fund will be donating to the Red Cross and the Appalachian Crisis Fund. Stapleton is also buying supplies and volunteering in the area to further aid flood survivors. Um, and so, you know, it, I didn't want to bother him too much because he was um, buying for the flood victims and that's obviously the more important um, thing that was happening yesterday. But I didn't know when we would ever get this opportunity again. I felt like it was God sent to us. Um, and we're thankful because we've been trying for a long time. I've been putting videos out for him to see and he never did see them. Um, and so I'm thankful that yesterday, whenever I went into Walmart to buy diapers, he was there. <laughs> if you would like to donate to the flood survivors, the East Kentucky Dream Center is open from nine to three, Monday through Friday at their downtown location in Pikeville, Kentucky. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.